Hey, what up guys, it's Michael here from Performance Revolution. As the video title suggests, you're going to learn how to perform a hanging leg raise from start to finish. Now you've likely heard the hanging leg raise is a great exercise for your abs, and maybe that's the reason why you want to learn how to do it. However, it's important to realise that performing a good hanging leg raise is not just about great core strength, there's a lot more to this exercise than just the strength of your midsection. Stick around and you'll see exactly what I mean. The hanging leg raise is a fundamental gymnastics exercise and a great one for developing your core. Although this movement is often used for strengthening the abs and developing a great midsection, it's an advanced exercise that requires a great deal of emphasis on flexibility and technique to be performed both correctly and effectively. For this reason, we will not only cover hanging leg raise progressions in this video, but also specific flexibility and assistant exercises to ensure you're doing the exercise correctly and avoiding the common mistakes a lot of people make when performing this movement. To get us started, let's look at the common mistakes when performing a hanging leg raise and how to rectify them. It's called a hanging leg raise, not a pulling leg raise. Throughout the entire exercise, you should be hanging in a relaxed position and not pulling your legs up with the help of the shoulders, arms or back musculature. To ensure you're not cheating in this way, make sure your head sinks between your shoulders throughout the entire movement. This is an extension of mistake number one. Your head and arms should remain directly under the bar the entire exercise. If you're leaning back during a hanging leg raise, it means you're activating the muscles around your shoulders and likely compensating for inadequate core strength and or flexibility. Refer to our compression drills and strength progressions further on in the video. Swaying your body and using momentum to do the hanging leg raise disengages your core and defeats the purpose of the exercise. If your back arches and your feet go behind your hips in the bottom position, it means your abdominals are not engaged properly and controlling your body position. When this happens, you have lost tension in your core and need to strengthen your hollow body dish position. The hollow body position should be used to control your hanging leg raise and to stop swaying. See our link in the description for our hollow body dish hold exercise tutorial for more on this. Bending your legs to gain range of motion is usually due to a combination of inadequate flexibility and strength in the pike position. The same holds true for poor range of motion with straight legs. This mistake is usually the most prevalent one and requires the most work to correct. To rectify this issue, you'll need to really focus on flexibility and compression strength in the pike position as much as you can. The stiffer and less mobile you are, the more energy you will use trying to push through range in your hanging leg raise. Use the following exercises in the order recommended to really improve your pike position and your strength within that position. Now that you've worked on getting more compression and more range of motion in the pike position, it's time to strengthen that extra range. Once you can complete the allocated reps for one progression, move up to the next progression and do the same. Make sure you start at a progression that matches your ability level and do not compromise technique in order to advance. Refer to the following demonstrations of these compression strength exercises. After correcting mistakes and spending time improving your flexibility and compression strength, you can begin to work through these hanging leg raise progressions as your ability and exercise technique allows. Ensure you can do at least one set of the target number of repetitions before moving on to the next progression. Refer to the following hanging leg raise progression demonstrations.
Hey guys, thanks for watching. If you follow our recommendations this video, you should be well on your way to performing an excellent hanging leg race and developing an awesome core in the process. For more useful information and exercise videos, please subscribe to the Performance Revolution channel.